What's going on YouTube? Abram Diaz here. Uh, brand new shot to cover. This shot was requested by one of the up and coming players, so I decided to cover it. And it's uh, the, the stroke, the flex shot around the rack. Uh, pocketing the one ball in the corner pocket, cue ball whipping around the rack, going three rails, and pocketing the nine ball. Uh, this shot, I'm going to show the setup. I'm going to show my aim spot, then I'm going to shoot it, and if I miss it or make it, we're going we're gonna to adjust together. Uh, I'm going to show you the setup first. Pretty, pretty simple. If it's already in the diagram, the way it has to be set up. Rules have changed, but uh, this shot, cue ball placement is three balls over from the long rail. Three balls over and two balls out from the short rail. Once that's in place, uh, we'll take the one ball. I'm actually going to point the one ball and cue ball. The line of centers is going to point at the left pocket point, and that's to allow for the throw. And the gap, the size of the gap that I'm using is, uh, I'm going to say four millimeters. If you have a tip tap, it's actually the paddle, the paddle end is, uh, is the distance I use. Like I'll, I'll use that as a measurement. I've been shooting this shot for so long, I don't need it anymore. I just know. So I'm gonna line it up right now to the left uh, pocket point. All right, uh, you know I'm gonna, the nine ball's hanging, but I'm actually gonna use a helper ball in case I come up short because I'll tell you what, this shot's a real, it's a real pain in the butt on this table just because the cloth is pretty worn and it, the English doesn't take as well sometimes. So I want to make the shot. And my aim spot is going to be just to the right of the center diamond. I actually put a cone where my aim spot is. It's a half diamond over from the middle diamond on the short rail. I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the angle that I'm using. And depending if I miss it or make it, we're going to adjust. But uh, here, here it is. I'm going to be hitting extreme 10 o'clock, about two and a half tips from center, max outside. I'm using a closed bridge, and my elevation, I'm elevating to about the bottom of my ribs. That's the elevation. So I don't know what that is really in degrees. Um, but if you know, put a comment down there. Uh, closed bridge. A lot of people shoot this shot with an open bridge. I feel I have no control when I use an open bridge. That's why I'm going with a closed bridge. Extremely loose backhand, extreme 10 o'clock, max outside. short, way short, and it was actually a bad hit. What I'm going to do is I'm actually uh, going to bring my aim point more to the left uh, to, help, to help so it's where I barely clear the rack and it helps me open up more. There's a couple ways you can adjust and, the, and I'll explain that afterwards. I'm going to change nothing, just my aim point. I'm going to bring it in. Now I'm aiming at the middle diamond. That was perfect. Okay. Now, uh, this shot... Change, change one factor at a time. You, if you're coming up short, move you just just adjust by moving your aim point more to the left. 
But when you're moving it more to the left, what you're gonna start flirting with is you'll start nicking the rack. And if you start hitting the rack just from the get-go, if you're not even clearing, the cue ball's not even clearing it, then you're gonna have to aim more to the right. And if you're coming up short, the way you adjust for that is instead of hitting 10 o'clock, try hitting about 10.30, try putting a little bit more follow. Because what that's gonna do is the top spin, when it hits that second rail, it's gonna force the cue ball down lower to help you open up. You're not gonna rely on as much side spin. So it's a way, that's one of the ways you can adjust. And this shot's, this shot's table dependent. Uh, it's not, it's, it's, it's not an easy shot. It's, it takes a lot of practice to get, but you'll get it. And that's, that's, that's it, that's it. Just keep practicing it, practice consistently. Change one factor at a time. Start with the aim point. If the aim point just isn't getting it, then start messing with the English. But I wouldn't even do that. Um, all right, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, oh, and uh, give a shout out to Alex, Alex J. He's the one that requested this shot. Um, so there you go, homie. Um, there it is, just keep, keep on practicing. And I look forward to uh, meeting you in a future event. All right, remember, shoot the comments down below. Let me know what you think. There's a, there's a lot of people that, that don't agree with what I'm doing, but I don't, I don't care. I love what I do, and this is my way of giving back, of giving back to the sport is to help the, a lot of the new players that are coming in to this. They hopefully they don't have to go through all the heartache that I went through learning these shots. Out of all the, out of all the players, there's only two players. When I was first learning, there was two players on the tour that actually would shoot messages back to me and help me out. And I sent stuff to a lot of players, but only two ever replied to me. That's why I do this, to help everybody out. All right, take care, peace.